Hey everyone, this is just a bit of a user guide as well for incursions and anything to do with incursion style programs where you're actually going in schools, whether it's for a day, whether it's for a couple of hours or whether it's over weekly periods. Now, what you can see here is what are essentially the most relevant things that a teacher or out of school care center staff member would really need. Now, in the details box, we've tried to identify syllabus outcomes. Anytime you're doing things within schools, if you can provide syllabus outcomes, it's always helpful and it makes it a lot easier to justify and approve the program itself. Risk assessments matter a little less in, in school programs. Teachers can fill that out a little bit more, but there's always things, depending on what kind of equipment perhaps that you're using or the topics, things that you're covering, things like that, it's always, you're always going to help teachers if you can create, even if it's just a tentative template that they can edit, then that's really going to always make things easier for them. Now, you can see the education program type, we've put incursion and partnership program. As we've mentioned in previous videos, we always would recommend if you have individual programs that are distinctly different, one that is just an incursion as a one day or one that is definitely a partnership program, then we'd always recommend having two separate listings so that the filters work a bit better. But if it's a very similar program or essentially the same program that can be stretched out and expanded across multiple weeks, for instance, then there's no reason why you couldn't select both of those there. The stages and what well-being areas you cover so people can have a bit of a guide of what the different workshops might have. So you can see here when we've edited the listing, one of the major things that's really important for those in-school providers is to select the right touring locations where you're willing to actually travel to, especially for our regional school educators. Uh, that's really important and they're often quite left out sadly in the system so we're really trying to help build that presence and and help them find providers that are willing to do those distance travels in the broader regional communities if we keep scrolling down something to consider uh, incursions don't only have to be one day events we've mentioned already in this that they could be partnership programs but incursions can also be after school or they can be school holiday so if you perhaps do HSC workshops in schools over school holidays it's certainly something that teachers often do so there's value in considering that as a program that you might want to expand on or for those that might do extension classes or host shows after school for seniors, for instance, there's lots of avenues here where in-school incursions are really valuable and often they're often the more preferred form for educators because the paperwork is simply easier. Um, you don't have to worry about travel and the organization of that and, and it often brings down the cost as well. So it's really a worthwhile thing to consider and maybe think about the flexibility that is is capable um, by considering after school and school holidays. As mentioned in previous ones, if you tick any wellbeing areas, always tick the wellbeing KLA because there are year advisors now and, and have been for quite some time and head teachers of wellbeing that are always looking for programs specific for certain age groups, for instance, such as online literacy or perhaps social media use. Resources as well, if there is equipment that you're bringing, whether it's booklets or things like that, always try and tick those boxes if food is provided, depending on if you're doing whole day things. Usually those things will be provided by the school, but things again to always consider. As we've mentioned, these different hyperlinks for risk assessments, for instance, if you use common forms, you're more than welcome to put them into your profile so that in terms of the contact info, if you go here, you'll be able to locate that there and people will be able to see it in the about me section. That's always worthwhile putting there. And if you do something like that, just letting the educators know at the bottom here to click through to the profile to find forms to save a bit of time. As mentioned in previous videos, you always need to 
enable business hours if you want appointments to work as we've used the example here. If we bring it back, we can see just an example of a booking that's been made and you can decide on the time slots and the listing. So, as we've mentioned in previous videos, you can always go to the contact us section. Our plan is to continue to try and make it easier for providers and educators to essentially use EduLinks for all organization processes. So we are trying to get some of those extra features to further make it an easier platform for both providers and educators. As with everything, thanks for listening. Hopefully this was useful. Feedback's always welcome and best of luck.